Hey, what's up? It's Trapper John. I'm here again with my buddy old uh, Chuck from Chuck's Self-Sufficiency and Recycling Blog. Yeah, not old Chuck, just me. Just, just, just you. Same, okay. same Chuck. Yeah, we uh, we got a little bit of a dinner idea going on. We got ourselves some survival food and some uh, two dollar wine. So we thought, well, nobody went to the store today, so put that all together. Put it all together. What you what do you say these guys were called? Augustin Farms. Augustin Farms. This is a company out of Utah. You know how those Utahns like their survival food. That's right. Kind of kind of a yeah inexpensive. Uh, you'll you'll find them in your big box stores. That's a politically correct term for Walmart. Right. But uh, they claim to have a ten year shelf life uh, with the date code on this one saying uh, twenty twenty five. Indeed. Damn. Actually, I, I, I'm with that because it's dehydrated. Like, how, how bad is it going to be? So what we're really going to need to do is uh, boil some water. We're going to put this in the boiling water. We're going to drink some of this uh, cheap-ass wine. And then it's all going to make sense. And also, I apologize. We're out on the ranch right now, so you're going to hear a lot of... Uh, a lot of, like, farm sounds. Probably boiling water sounds, but oh yeah, sorry, the wine, my goodness. The big kahuna. Um some of your Chardonnay fans might recognize this as the crisp wine. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Yep. From the from the crisp grapes you're all familiar with. You perfect know, Utah pour too. It is. You know. You know. You know. You've got a good wine when the uh, the recycle value of the bottle is at least half of the cost of the whole wine. So that's right. It's a money back guarantee. Eesh. Let's give this guy a little try. Okay. Thanks. Oh. oh. We are in Utah, and um, yeah, it tastes like fry sauce wine. It is a little bit on the. A little bit. Was like this made in Utah wine. too? I don't know. No, I don't know this is Spain. Utah? Spain, dude. I'm just saying, uh, with a Utah theme to it, with the Augustin Farms, gotcha. this tastes like fry sauce wine. Yeah, fair enough. It's some hobo wine. I'm gonna call it hobo wine. But anyway, I mean, so we're going to get some water boiling. I'm not opposed to it. Yeah. You probably hear in the background, you hear our water boiling. This is a professional operation, man. We, we got it going on. Can you taste it? Mmm. Can you taste the fry sauce? It tastes like my own tears. <laughs> Alright, so water's finally boiling. According to the package instructions, we need two and a quarter cups of boiling hot water. Let's see if uh, Chuck can uh, pull this off. Do you doubt me? Yeah. Okay. Alright. I just gotta make sure I don't out on the opening. All right, grab the scissors, Chuck. Very good seal on these, by the way. Augusta Farm, home of the seal. That, that guy goes in the big bowl. Two and a quarter cups of water, boiled. We're gonna mix that ish cup. Oh. oh, yeah. Take your oxygen absorber out, or eat it. Yeah, 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 eat it. No. And I think to get all the meat flavor, we do have 
about a pound of uh, ground sirloin. Wait, no. Grilled sirloin. Grilled sirloin. I'm sorry. And uh, no, we didn't get it from our butcher. That shit was frozen in our deep freezer. Survival right here now. That's right. Ground sirloin. You've been drinking that wine? Mm hmm. It'll get you there. Okay, should we cover this? Yep. Okay. Right, we'll be back in 10 minutes. Yes, 10 minutes. Yeah, why not? Yep. Alright, that's it. 10 minutes. Soupy as shit. It does nah. look soupy. We'll see, I guess, how it goes. It's gonna be like hamburger helper. It's gonna thicken as it stands. Uh, I think it's stood long enough. I think this is what we got. All right, dish it out. This is what I like to call survival food as long as you have two steaks laying around in your freezer. That's right. I mean, Actually, it smells pretty good. It does. Hmm. Do you want another scoopy there? Nah, I'm good. Okay. This kind of looks like a... It looks like an HH. Yeah, hamburger helper. I mean, we'll Actually, see. Actually, I think, I think everything rehydrated really well. Let's try just a noodle right now. Mm. Not terrible at all. No, that's not bad. Hmm. I, I did that. Interesting. All right. Um. God, it gives you a ton of food. Yeah, it really yeah, does. They're not kidding. That's like four Utah serving. They say. Like if you have a six. No. Six kids. You could probably feed them like a little bit each. Mm. Of course the steak helps, but uh, the uh, the noodles, the sauce have a bit of that, you know, reconstituted, dehydrated factor, which is exactly what they were, you know. Mm -hmm. The flavor's good, though. Yeah, it's not bad. We might have to try these on their own at some point. But uh, if you find yourself in a Utah Walmart. And you got some steaks in your freezer. Yeah. Oh, you had a concern earlier. <coughs> adding the steaks that were a little bit room temperature, you know, trying to film everything. Might have um, slowed down the, the hot water, you know, cooled it down a little bit. I think you might be right. There's still a little bit of a chew on the noodles. So maybe uh, cook up the noodles and then, and then if you have anything to add, add it later. Do that afterward, but man. It's not bad though. No, it, it isn't. It hmm. needs some pepper, but I feel like everything needs pepper. Yeah, fair enough. Even ice cream. Yeah, peppered ice cream. Why not? That's a sign of a serial killer, I'm pretty sure. But I'm a sociopath? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I don't think that's how they use that word. Anyway, I'm going to say Augusta Farms, Angusta Farms out of Utah, bag food. Oh, and I also want to mention, it wasn't that bad. It was like, I think that whole pack was like under $4? I think so. Yeah, like a three forty nine dollars something like that at the big box store, Walmart, I can say. Um, the Big Kahuna Wine. Not, not so great. We're, we're getting through it, but Jesus, man. Just barely. It's rough. Um, yeah, it wasn't bad. I mean, if, I, if I'm going to die in the apocalypse, I'd, I'd do it in a belly full of this. <laughs> right? The rapture comes. Anyway, check down below for all our links. I'm Trapper John. This is Chuck. Oh, little Chuck. Chuck from a blog. Come say hi to us. Y'all just... Yeah. Do whatever. Give a shit about being drunk and doing a food review. That's fine. We had to try out the new camera. That's look, right. Look at that clarity. Let's see, poke this. Can thing. you see the pink in the meat? Uh huh. That's a, that's a, mm. hmm.
Oh, baby. Better than falling down. That's right. Have fun, guys. My wine's going to fight you. It's, it's got a good pea color to it. I appreciate that. Jesus. It does look a lot like it a, looks a urinary tract infection. Well, I mean, no, that's no, 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 gross. No. Like, it, it looks like urine if you're on antibiotics. It does have that orange hue. I wish the audience could see. I mean, yeah. I mean, well, I, believe I us though, we're not we're not sponsored by the Pink Cahuna Wine Company, so. It, no, it definitely looks like antibiotic urine. <laughs> That's so not gonna go over good in the review. 